downside of calling AAA to get home safe after you're drinking. I'm the one who always had to make the phone call. Because out of all my friends, I had the best sober voice. <laughs> you remember your sober voice? Yeah. You remember your 15, 16, you got to call your parents, the cops, or the Superman, Pope, whatever. Some authority figure. You want to sound like what you think a responsible adult would sound like. So that's what I do. I'd be in the front trying to sound sober, my friends in the back laughing, kicking the chair. Like, shh, quiet. Shh. I got to call you. Shh. The story takes place in 1996. I should preface this, it's an older self. <laughs> Texting was a bitch back then, but still, just stay with me. <laughs> Hello? Yes, have I reached the offices of... Ah. me at this time. My vehicle's not going forward presently. What's wrong with it? It's broken. The part that goes forward is still malfunctioning currently in my proximity. The rear gasket manifold, the belt, axle, seat, flux capacitor, the tires were stolen! All four of our tires were stolen by ruffians and their hooligan friends by myself and my esteemed associates <laughs> who are otherwise engaged to reading to orphan children. Out of the goodness of our heart, we are volunteering and ruffians stole to send a truck. What about I? I'm up front with Charlie. Charlie says, hey. Oh, the guy, yes. I'm on the corner of Orange Boulevard and don't walk. This is what the sign says, don't walk. I can see it very clearly from my chair. Now hurry, send it to the corner of Orange in three. Three, it's blinking, hurry. Two, one, what do we do? Never mind. 